Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm going to try and lead you through VidSwap and how you can use its platform and features to uh, basically assist you with your learning. Um, and this can be done obviously remotely after the provincial weekends. It can also be used to uh, create a video um, highlight reel that you might want to send to colleges, uh, universities, or anyone that you just want to get anybody's interest. Uh, it's, this is going to be done unscripted, so apologies if uh, it doesn't flow and it's not quite fluid. And uh, off we go. So, uh, first of all, you may have received an email uh, asking you to set up an account. Um, if you haven't received that, please uh, email myself with an email that you want to use. Um, otherwise, uh, you will, should receive that soon. The uh, U13, U14s have all been entered. The uh, U15, U16, U17s will be entered towards this week. So don't worry if you haven't received that right now, if you're in those age groups. You can use VidSwap on your phone through uh, Android and uh, Apple iOS. Uh, that's probably the most user-friendly way to do it. Uh, on this one, I'm just going to quickly show you using the browser, and I'll also do a quick one using um, uh, an iPhone or an iPad just to give you an idea. So you're going to log in. And when you log in, you're not going to see the same amount of features as myself. You may see just videos and uh, possibly highlights and reviews. And that's probably all you're going to see. So just for example, I am going to switch this to an account where I know there is uh, some videos for you to review. Uh, you'd click video. And you can see the games that have been um, actually uploaded into the system. The ones that say logged are the ones that VidSwap have actually coded. The ones that don't have logged, which are here and here, um, you should not have any of those in your uh, account. So for the ones that say logged, you can actually click the watch tab. Uh, and once you get to that watch tab, it's going to actually take you to the video and uh, a filter system. And on the filter system, you'll see you can search based ranged on you know attacking third by team, uh, offsides, and it can go into more advanced um, coding uh, options. Right now, um, I'm not 100% sure which ones will be working for you, um, but I'll show you a little bit on how it works. So say you are interested in trying to find um, uh, something specifically. Now, I know on this video, the coding is a little different. So, for example, say we wanted to see uh, touches by an athlete. Um, this probably won't actually show on yours. It might be just, for example, um, shots on goal, uh, corner, uh, you know, a goal. And then once you click that, it, if there's multiple players that have actually achieved the outcome or the filter you're looking for, they'll be listed. And obviously, because this is coding all the touches for the White Cats program, all the players are listed. So, for example, if I uh, if I click Jabu Deng, uh, what it will do is now it's actually brought up all of the different times that. Jabu touched the ball during the game. Uh, and it also, on this example, not necessarily on the one that you're going to have, it tells you what they did, a completed pass forward, a completed pass backwards. And I can basically watch all of those clips. So you can uh, obviously customize what you want to see uh, based on the code that you will be given on this left filter. Um, and uh, some of them will work, some of them won't work. We've paid for certain things that we need. Um, so... As I said, we've not got the uh, uh, the top version. We've got the uh, the basic version. So, it gives you an idea on how you can actually review certain clips that you want to look for. Maybe there's a goal you saw. Maybe there was a, a good save. Um, whatever it is, you might be able to find it through the filter system. Just going to take us back. So we'll go back to the home page. So the coaches um, on the provincial staff might pull out specific tags that they want to show players. Maybe they're tags that VidSwap have coded, or maybe the coaches actually made their own tags based on to the game model and the theme that they're looking for. Now, they'll put it in one of two places, one in highlights or in review. I'm going to use review because I've actually already set one up. Um, and on this one, I actually just pulled out all of Ethan Larson's past completion. So you can see here, uh, I sent this actually to Coach Andrew McDonald, uh, but otherwise I could have sent that to the whole team. I could have sent that just to Ethan. And that's going to expire in seven days. And these are clips specifically around Ethan Larson's past completion. Um, so, for example, a coach might actually say, you know, number of times attempted to switch the ball 
and those will be the clips that are actually shown in the review. So you can click view and again what will happen is it will take you to uh, the window there. Now it looks a little different because it is an opportunity to uh, engage uh, um, based on the people that have been attached on this review. So I put here review the clips and identify two examples of good decision making and two where you can grow. Away. That's just an example of what a coach might do. So what I might do is if I'm a player that's been attached to this, um, the coaches are asking uh, the community of players, the roster of players to engage in this actual um, activity. So what I would do is I would simply comment and I would say, I don't know, video three and I would talk about why I felt it was appropriate or not appropriate. And I'd click Submit. Um, in there, actually, we'll do just a test. And what will happen is my name and then my comment will go into that. So the players can start to interact with each other and the coach can interact with the players to actually discuss the game outside of um, the uh, provincial weekends. If for whatever reason a coach or a player would like to actually take this footage off, and have that for their, uh, you know, their, their video that they're creating. You can download all the clips. So you can just see a download all clips, or you can select specific clips and download. You can also do the same in the original video. So I'll go back to that one as well. If you want to download any specific clips, so say for example, I'm going to go back to here. And uh, I don't know if, no, this one's not got uh, simple, so it's only got the uh, athlete filter. So I know forward pass by an athlete, and we'll do, um, let's do Kyle. And say I want clip one, three, and five. Okay, same thing. I can create a quick highlight, off I go, and I can download that for the future. Uh, so that's obviously something that's really uh, important for, for you as players and parents to actually get your clips for the future. Okay, you can obviously make this screen bigger and watch it full screen. Uh, whatever you decide to do is totally up to you. So that's really how you're going to use this for desktop, uh, Mac, Windows. It's all based in your browser. It's not a software that you're going to actually uh, download. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, it's all there to try and engage the learning for the athlete and the player. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll, I'll quickly have a little look on how to do this on iPad, which uh, is probably a bit more user friendly. And, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this on the iPad. Uh, if you go to VidSwap, um, install it from the App Store um, or the Android Google um, equivalency, you, you should come to something like this. Um, so again, I'm going to switch this to um, a team and uh, you won't have this ability to do that. Uh, only myself because I've got multiple teams here. But you should see a, uh, a home page you know, similar to the desktop. Um, again, you might not see all of these things, but you, obviously there's some that are very similar. Again, you follow the same kind of process. You click videos, um, you see the ones that were logged, and you go to uh, the game that you were uh, looking to review. Uh, and it goes straight to a, a big screen of the game. You've got um, minus five and plus five seconds on the right hand side. Um, you can pause it, you can fast forward it, uh, so I can watch this in, uh, I think, a speedier uh, version. No, I can't. No, not on this one, sorry. Um, but if I want to filter, just like I did on the desktop, I click the top, you've got stats and filter. Uh, and what it would do is it's actually going to give me all of the things that I uh, will have coded. And it actually customizes it a little better than the desktop version because you can see there's not as many. Uh, and with this program, they actually uh, code touches. So again, if I go with uh, Luke Berryman, and uh, looking for the first half, you notice how it says there's 33 clips, uh, and then I just go backwards, and then from there you're going to get all of Luke Berryman's clips, and then I can skip what I'm looking for. Now again, it might be different based on um, what you're looking for. Uh, you might be looking for a shot, as I said earlier. These are a bit more detailed, uh, but again, you can see how this works and how it filters the clips. Uh, so you're just going to have to play around with it both on the desktop or on the iPad. If I go back and I go to uh, review, uh, again, you saw that the uh, Ethan Lawson pass completion is in there. And uh, there it is, playing through. If I want to leave a comment, you see the little speech bubble at the top. I click the speech bubble, and then obviously I'll click message, and I will try and type that out um, as well. So just like that. 
Again, that's the iOS, bit cleaner, not as uh, complicated. Again, if you've got any questions, you know, you feel free to contact us and we'll do our best to support you. But uh, a little bit of uh, trial and error is what you're going to have to do to figure it out. Um, you're not going to be able to uh, do anything that's going to really hurt the video. Um, so just, just play around with it.